A lot of folks here in Connecticut, especially along the shoreline, remember all too well the damage and impact from Superstorm Sandy and Tropical Storm Irene. Some are still recovering from the damage left behind. We spoke with some folks on the shoreline this evening. News 8's Renee Schmiel joins us tonight with their reactions. We track her meme. And Darren, that's Sandy on the left and Irene on the right as those storms hit the shoreline and those waves and all the damage those storms left behind. That's what many who live by the water are thinking about now as Hermine approaches. Margaret Consolino has lived by the beach in Milford for 40 years. Though this time of year can be stressful because of the threat of hurricanes, she knows what to do. And she has a plan if her mean does hit. I have a son that lives not too far from here. If I had to evacuate, I'd go over to his house. We've been through them before, so I kind of know what to expect. She's not alone. Many of her neighbors have been through other storms as well. They know how to prepare for the high winds and flooding, and many don't start until they have a better idea of what to expect. We have a guinea pig and a dog, so make sure they're okay too. Really just keeping the most important thing safe is what's important. As you can see, storms have hit this area hard in the past. Hurricane Sandy came through here a few years ago, and it's something many residents still remember. We sustained significant damage from Irene, um, repeated again for Sandy, and then as a result of Sandy, we lifted the house. There's still damage along the shoreline from both of those hurricanes. Many houses have been raised to protect them from future storms. Many neighbors feel safer because they've taken those precautions, but some still get nervous, not knowing what Mother Nature might bring. It's just scary, I guess. I mean, because, I mean, I love living by the beach, but these kind of things scare me because, like, it's, da it's a little dangerous. For now, neighbors are waiting to see what path Hermine takes and hoping that unlike Irene and Sandy, this storm doesn't come anywhere near Connecticut. I'm hoping that we've been hit enough and usually it goes in cycles. So whatever comes, I think we'll be prepared for it. Neighbors tell me because the houses and streets were so badly flooded during the last few storms, they'll be moving all their things as high up as they can to keep everything dry. Live in the studio, I'm Renee Schmiel and back to you.